Summary. There are 100 chapters in Life of Pi. They range from more than 10 pages long to just two words. The chapters are divided into three formal sections, but there's also one tricky element that adds a layer of complexity to the story. The layer of complexity. This layer consists of the author's notes, which is where the author explains how he heard about Pi and his adventure. But since this is a novel, that is to say a work of fiction, you won't know how much to believe. Instead, you might start thinking of Life of Pi from the very first page as a tale told by a traveler from a far distant land. It's beautiful, it's intense, and it's so alien from your experience that you can't be sure what to trust. These sections open and close a novel and are scattered through the first section of Pi's life story. Part 1. Toronto and Pondicherry this part includes a story of Pi's early life before the shipwreck, and it could have also been called India was Heaven. That's because of Pi's intense religious longing, which leads him to study with representatives of several different faiths. But it's also because of how perfectly matched Pi was with his early surroundings. What could be better for an inquisitive kid than growing up in a zoo? He was also blessed with loving parents who tried to teach him about life, and the people of Pondicherry also seem to exist solely to teach Pi about everything that matters. Science, God, communism, and so on. There are massive contradictions about everything that Pi learns and does in this section, but somehow the India of Pi's youth is big enough to contain them all. Ultimately, the 36 chapters of Part 1 do three things. They paint a portrait of Pi's family and early world. They tell the story of his life up until the time his father decided to move the zoo to Toronto via ship for business reasons. And they tell the story of how the author came to meet Pi. Part 2. The Pacific Ocean This section is told in a pretty straightforward fashion. There's an occasional flashback, but for the most part, Pi reveals his story as it happens. At the start of chapter 37, the Simsum sinks. It's night, so Pi is asleep, of course, and the crew and passengers of the Simsum are caught off guard. It's pure chaos, and no one else except Pi and a few animals, a zebra, a hyena, an orangutan, and a tiger, manage to get onto the lifeboat. The lifeboat is pretty large, 26 feet long and 8 feet wide, if you want to imagine it, but it still contains them all in a limited space, forcing them into a zoo-like situation with an artificial ecology. The zebra is injured, so the hyena kills it first. The hyena then kills the orangutan, and in chapter 53, Richard Parker, the tiger, kills a hyena. That means from chapter 53 until 94, when they make landfall in Mexico and Richard Parker disappears into the jungle, Pi is all alone on a raft with a hungry tiger. These 40 chapters really are the heart of the book. They follow Pi through his attempts to tame his fear, to tame Richard Parker, to provide food for both of them, to negotiate power dynamics, and to maintain his humanity his sanity, and his faith. Does Pi survive? Yes. Does he stay sane? That's debatable. Pi goes blind in chapter 90 and starts talking to someone. It might be the ship's cook, it might be Pi's older brother, it might be someone else. Pi might have killed and eaten whoever it was. If this other person did in fact exist, it's almost certain Pi did eat him. But then, Pi finds an island which, in chapter 92, he claims eats and dissolves people and animals that walk on it. Such a thing has never been reported, so he may be lying. Perhaps he lies to make himself look good. After all, if even islands eat people, why shouldn't he? Or maybe he's just crazy. We never know, and neither does he. Part 3. This section is set in the Benito Juarez Infirmary, where representatives of the Japanese Ministry of Transport's Maritime Department quiz Pi about what happened to the Simsum and how he survived. These last six chapters show a man hoarding food in his hospital bed and telling stories that even he knows sound unbelievable. Except that in the end, the Japanese investigators do believe Pi, and maybe you will too.